Wow, it's crazy. Can't believe they've gonna give me my own show. Christopher Tyken show. The show that everybody knows. The Christopher Tyken show where we talk about toys. Today, we're looking at cars. Now I'm not a big fan of cars. I mean, seriously, what does a car do? As a child, you play with cars and it's so boring, you know. You just push them around, but these cars are different. These cars, well, I'll let you wait and see. So let's take a look at these special cars. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five cars to see. And we've got here a black car. Now looking at it, it just looks like a normal car. It's black with a little bit of green. But look at that, it's starting to fall apart. What can that mean? You're right, it's a f transformer. It transforms into a robot. Uh-uh, uh-uh, transformers. Transformers in disguise. So, that looks like it's legs. And these pull out as his arms. And if we turn it around and flip the front here, I'm guessing, but you can't see. Yes, I'm right, it's his head. Look at that green alien looking thing. Now I do not know much about Transformers myself, so I don't know what this one's called, but his arm looks a little bit dodgy there. It's a little bit floppy. So here you have a green alien looking transformer. As you can see on the front, the transformer logo and his arm is definitely broken. It's floppy. Let's see if we can transform it back. See, as a child, I give up with transformers because I could never turn them back into a car after I'd transformed them into a robot. As you can see, I can't do it with this one. So I think I'm gonna put it down and take a look at this yellow car here. So if it was a normal car toy, you'd just push it around like this. Which, oh, it almost transformed on its own. Crazy. So let's take a look at this yellow transformer. So it looks pretty standard vehicle. But look at that. Underneath there, it's a transformer. It's got some little legs. I wonder if its arms pull out. I can't seem to be able to do anything else with it. Oh, look, the top flips up there. So we can see its head. It's great. So we have a yellow transformer. Does anybody know his name? Because I don't. As I say, I'm not a huge transformer fan. Give it a little bit of turn so we can see it from all angles. But what's this on his chest? It flips around. There's some kind of numbers and pictures. Maybe so you can play a game, but who knows? But this one transforms back into a car so easy. Broom, broom, broom. So that was the yellow transformer. If I had to take a guess, I'd call it something like Bumblebee. It's the only Transformer. I know, apart from obviously Optimus Prime. So let's take a look at the second, should I say third, Transformer mini action figure. So what is it? Is it a truck? Is it a fire engine? I don't know. But whoa! Look how it just flips into a Transformer. That was pretty cool. I like this one. It's better than the others. It's red and black. As you can see, it has the numbers on the front. I'm guessing this must be some kind of game. But who knows? I'm a transformer in the skies. Whoa, I'm a little bit shaky. But look how easy. Transforms back. I wish it was like that when I was a kid. 
because the big ones were so odd, transformed back into a car. So here we have an ambulance. Or maybe it's a police car. Who knows? I think the, oh, oh, that was pretty cool. Whoa, where's the guy? I don't know, but here he is. Does anyone know what these transformers are called? So you can see, he has a little flippy thing on his chest. Two to five, with a gun. That's pretty cool, pretty awesome. I like that one. How about you? You think it's glide? But I do like how these transform so easily. Look, just snap, snap, snap. And wow, it's back into a car. Whoa. The only problem is that it's quite flippy if you don't put them down right. So that one's pretty cool. Brum brum. Let's take a look at this big one at the back. Is this Bumblebee? Maybe. Brum brum brum. As you can see, I've probably tried to transform this one and put it back. As you can see all the gaps. But it's so hard to transform back. So, I guess in the top, lift it up like that. It's a little bit fudgy, but I'm guessing these are his feet. And these here are his arms. Where is his head? I'm guessing that circle at the top there is his head. But somehow, this must flip back. Let's pull out his feet. I'm having trouble with his head. Does this bit maybe push down? Oh yes, here we go. There's the Transformer logo right there. And here's his head. But how do you get it facing the other way? F you know, this is why I f give up as a child. I'm gonna go and have a little go on its own and I'll come back with it hopefully transformed in a transformer. So, this is the best I could do. You can't see its face. It's got ho holes everywhere. It looks like its head's facing the wrong way. Look, right. it's facing out towards the car. It should flip around. Why could it make these Time is so hard to transform. It's not good at all. See, this is why, as a child, I give up with Transformers. It's so difficult. Now let's have a go at transforming it back into a car. I give up. Rubbish. Well, looks like it comes to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the mini Transformers. And we'll be back again with more Transformers. Bye bye. Bye for now. Christopher Toycan. Wow. And what another great video. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you would like to see more of the Christopher Toycan show, please subscribe here or like our videos. So if you'd like to see more and better toys, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. You have been watching the Christopher Tuckin Show. See you again soon.